guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kat Spangler, owner of Eat and Run Fitness. Today is episode one of my Ignite Your Energy series, and we're gonna be talking all about things that you need to take away and things that you need to add in to start bumping up that energy quickly and effectively so you can start having the energy to get after the life that you want to live. By the end of this video, you're gonna have my seven tips for getting negativity out of your life because negativity is a massive, massive energy suck. Negativity and hatred are some of the lowest frequency energies out there and energy attracts like energy. So if you're putting out negativity, if you're surrounding yourself with it, then that's exactly where you're going to feel reflected and how you feel throughout the day. So we want to get rid of that as soon as humanly possible. In this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys the quick little bullet points so that you can start taking those action steps today. If you want the meat, the examples, um, all of the links for the resources, that all is going to be in the attached blog post, which I will put the link for down below. Your first step in creating your positive energy day is starting off your day first thing in the morning with a really positive, uplifting podcast or audiobook. I have a whole list of podcasts that I love to listen to, but I'm gonna give you the first one that you should really start with is an audiobook. Download You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I'm telling you, it is going to change your life and you're gonna already notice the entire trajectory of your day shift. Number two, every time you say something negative about yourself, you have to replace it with three positive things. And you don't have to believe them right away, but every time you think those positive things, you're gonna be solidifying a rewiring of your brain and you will start to believe them slowly but surely. Number three, get into the right mindset before you go to work by creating an awesome playlist for yourself. For some people, that's creating playlists that they can sing along to at the top of their lungs. For some people, it's gonna be something really relaxing, maybe jazz or classical music that gets them in with the right frame of mind. But create a playlist that gets you so in tune with yourself and in such a positive mood that it doesn't matter if a jerk cuts you off. <laughs> Number four, kindly remove yourself from any negative conversations that you're hearing from other people. You might have coworkers that you spend a lot of time with who love to bitch about their boss and complain about their job and complain about the work that they're doing or not doing or what have you. Nothing comes of those conversations. It's not productive, it's not positive, and it's not gonna help you get into the right mindset to have energy throughout your day. So you can either walk away and find more positive people to spend time with, or you can be the catalyst to change the conversation by asking more positive, inspiring questions. So you could ask them maybe if they have any exciting trips coming up, what fun things they're doing over the weekend, how their kids are, how their families are. Change the conversation and allow that to change the environment of not only yourself, but of your entire office. Number five is really important. Reframe your negative experiences. We all go through negative experiences, but are you gonna be the person who lets them affect your entire day and create a cloud over your head all the time? Or are you going to allow yourself to reframe them, rethink about them, and allow them to actually help you going forward? And I like to reframe them in two different ways. You can either do it from kind of a self-development standpoint or from more of an empathetic standpoint. So if you are being negatively affected by somebody else, Realize that they're human, and if they're lashing out, chances are something is going on in their life that's making them lash out, and have a little understanding that they are human and they're probably doing the best that they can and they're not trying to hurt anybody. Or just try to gain something from the experience. Maybe your boss yelled at you and maybe they approached you the wrong way, but maybe they actually have some valid points that you can work on. Either way, reframe the situation so that it is more of a positive impact on you and less of a negative one. Number six, communicate with your partner or whoever you live with that you are trying to create a more positive, more energetic space for yourself. And for example, if you have a partner who tends to give you a little bit of a hard time about some of your habits, ask them to give you the critique in a love sandwich. Yes, I know how cheesy and goofy that sounds. What a love sandwich is, is basically having them slip their criticism in between two positive statements about yourself. And it might feel a little bit contrived at first, but I'm telling you, if you do it this way, you're gonna feel so much more loved and respected that you're not gonna have a problem fixing whatever criticism that they have, and it's gonna create a better bond between you and your partner and create more energy for you. And finally, number seven, end your day with a gratitude journal. Studies have shown that even just looking for something to be grateful for, even if you can't really find it, actually does affect your brain, it affects your mood, it affects your overall well-being. And while negativity and hatred are some of the lowest frequency energies that we can put out into the world and get back, 
Love and gratitude are some of the highest. So the more that you can rely on love and gratitude in your life, and the more you can bring that into your heart and into your mind, the more energy you're gonna feel, the more light you're gonna feel in your spirit and just going throughout your day. Now, some of you may be listening to all these steps and thinking it's kind of hokey and like, okay, is this really gonna make that big of a difference in my life? But really think about it. Your thoughts affect your words, your words affect your actions, your actions affect your life around you. So yeah, it is really important to shift from a negative environment to a more positive one. You have to realize you are never going to live the vibrant, energetic, inspiring life that you want to live if you are surrounding yourself with negativity at all terms. So start to make that positive shift and see your energy already start to skyrocket. And then next week you can join me. We're going to talk about the habits that you can do to get longer, deeper, harder sleep that's going to really, again, spike that energy even higher. Go check out the blog and you're going to get all of the resources on there of links to podcasts, links to audiobooks. Um, you might even get a little gratitude journal gift from me if you go over and check it out. So uh, make sure you go and click on the link right now. Last but not least, I do want to make you this offer. If time and energy are your biggest obstacles between you and your goals, I have a coaching group that might just be for you. Check it out. It's called Fit In Your Fitness Online Coaching Group. You can find it on my website. The link will be down below. Uh, the information is on my website as well, but it is going to help you kind of tackle your time management. It's going to help you increase your energy, um, and it's going to help you start making big steps forward towards your goals and towards the life that you want to live. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's first episode of the Ignite Your Energy series. Join me next time, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Now in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys the <laughs> the entire today. You are solidifying, solidifying. Join me next time and hope, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.